the Georgia Justice Project, we're very excited to launch Restorative Justice Georgia. And this effort, you might be thinking, doesn't make sense for a defense-oriented organization to launch a restorative justice effort, which requires folks accused of a crime to admit that they've done something wrong, to take accountability. But we believe there's deep alignment with GJP's work here. First of all, for 36 years, we have been doing and creating innovative solutions inside the criminal system. And we continue to. And we've been getting great resolutions because of that. And this innovation, really, restorative justice, is another way we believe that the system can operate more fairly, more justly, and create more healing for everybody involved. Now, so far, we already have two different jurisdictions, two different elected DAs, who've agreed to work with us on this and send cases under a terms that we've agreed to together. So uh, very soon, those prosecuting offices will identify both victims and crimes and people accused of crimes with the defense lawyer and send cases to a healing process of conferencing that will have different outcomes and different resolutions than what normally happens in the criminal legal system. So we're excited about launching this. We believe there's deep alignment with GJP's philosophy, with our values, and with the outcomes we all want to see in that the, the criminal legal system needs to find a way to do more justice, to create more healing, and to reinforce community. And we, we believe this is a way to do that. I'm Ramil Gherib, the Restorative Justice Program Manager at Georgia Justice Project's newest initiative, Restorative Justice Georgia. I come to Georgia with several years of experience doing restorative justice in different settings in different states. I'm also the founder of the first LGBTQ plus alliance in the field of restorative justice in the United States. And I'm very excited to bring restorative justice to the state of Georgia. Restorative justice is a voluntary victim-centered process where we bring together all of those who have been impacted by harm or crime. And usually when we think of harm or crime, we think of obligations to the state. So what laws have been broken and how can we punish a person for breaking those laws? And we wanna shift that narrative into what obligations does a person have to the victim and survivor? So what does the victim and survivor need from the person who has caused them harm? After preparing both parties, we bring them together to that facilitated dialogue where we get to explore the harms that have occurred, the impacts of that harm, and how that impact has a ripple effect on everyone involved, the larger community as well as the victim and survivor themselves and their families. And after that has been explored, we come to an agreement phase. So during that agreement phase, the responsible party gets to hear from the survivor what that survivor needs to move forward. And if they accept, then that's written down in the agreement and we have an agreement set that the responsible party can do to start healing that harm. We do provide volunteer opportunities for those interested. We do also provide trainings for those volunteer opportunities. So if you are interested, please go to gjp.org slash restorative justice.